Hello Everyone Vines was first released in 1985, and the first year it was released, VMAX immediately won Cycle Guide's Bike of the Year version. The 2014 VMAX edition has a larger engine and a more compact chassis for impressive acceleration and precise handling. This muscle motorbike in the 21st century has a super powerful engine with a capacity of 1679cc with a V-type engine and is supported by Yamaha technology which always makes it more powerful. In Jacusa design we imagine the Yamaha VMAX motorbike by adding several hidden but bold additions to the powered heavy cruiser 4. And what the concept is like, let's see. Um, the stock Yamaha Max is already an impressive looking machine that has plenty of power to flex when hitting the open road. While most people would be satisfied with a stock machine, Jacusa Designs thought otherwise and have created a VMAX that is sharper, lower, darker, and better overall. Uh, Jacusa Designs render features a solid flat disc remain black, of course which gives the VMAX a bold, militant feel, a uh, pair of solid rim with a bikini bottom fairing, and what was once militant and bold melts into the lines of the bike's bodywork. Uh, the raised handlebars have been swapped for a pair of low-mounted clip-ons, making the Jacusa VMAX look like a Neo Cafe racer on a lot of steroids. The upper bodywork from head to tail has received the full MT-10 treatment, and the new recycled headlight and tail assemblies create a sharper aesthetic emphasized by the matte black and dark gray color scheme. I'm just paid to the standard VMAX with shark fin remains on the fuel tank. Honestly, if this bike had teeth, it would bite you like someone with bath salts. Apart from the major changes, Jacusa has done away with the large rear number plate holder, rear view mirror and passenger footrest, and oh my, does it look like a gun. What is your assessment of the Jacusa design concept? Will VMAX be revived?